and this is how you can make a hangman command for your discord.js version 14 bot so let's go ahead and get started before i show you how to do this i would like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and all my other videos on the channel you can do so by joining my youtube memberships or subscribing to me on discord if you get the super god or custom bot tier on youtube you'll get access to that source code and if you get the custom bot tier you will get access to the source code along with a personalized custom discord bot from me and my staff be similar here over on discord if you get the god or custom bot tier you will get access to those paste bins or source code and if you get the custom bot tier me and my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot and on both places you will get perks relative to that app you are actually on if this is interesting to you go ahead and click the link in the description below to get to both places and with that let's go ahead and get started so we can get started by going over to community and we're just going to go ahead and create hangman.js in here we can do const and we're going to get our slash command builder and we can do equals require and we're just going to get discord.js now we can do const hangman and then we can do equals require and in here we're going to get a discord dash game cord you are going to need to do mpmi discord game cord in your terminal for this to work we come down here and do module dot exports equals we'll go ahead and open this up we can do data and this is going to be new slash command builder we can go ahead and set a name and this is going to be hangman we can go ahead and set a description and in here we can say play a game of hangman we can add a comma and we're going to do async executes and we can do interaction and then we can just go ahead and open this up. We can come down here and do const capital game and we can do equals new hangman and we can just go ahead and open that up. In here we're going to do message and we're just going to go ahead and set that to interaction. We can do comma, we're going to do embed and we're just going to go ahead and edit this embed within the game package. We're going to go ahead and set a title and that is going to be hangman. Then we can set a color and you are going to have to import a color hex code. So for me I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. You can do whatever you want. Just look that up on Google. Make sure you go ahead and add a comma after the title as well we can add a comma here we're going to come down here and we're going to go ahead and say hangman and we can just go ahead and open this up now we're going to say hat in here we can just go ahead and copy a top hat emoji you can get this from google then we can do a comma and we're just going to go ahead and do head and in here we're also going to go ahead and get another emoji this one is going to be a worried face we can do comma and we're going to do shirt here we're going to go ahead and copy a shirt emoji we can add a comma and we're going to do pants and we're just going to go ahead and get a pants emoji and then we can go ahead and get our boots for our boots we're going to go ahead and get the shoe emoji and we're actually going to go ahead and do this two times so we can do the shoe and the shoe just like that we can go ahead and add a comma here we're going to do timeout time and this is going to be 60,000. Then we can add a comma here we're going to do theme words and this is going to be all we can add a comma we can do win message and in here we can say you won the word was and we're going to go ahead and bold this we can open this up we can just say word and we can finish that and finish the bolding as well we can add a comma we can do lose message and in here we can say you lost the word was we'll bold this and we can do word and we'll finish this off and finish off that bolding as well we can add a comma here we can come down here and we're going to say player only message and we're going to say only and we'll open up player and we'll close that off can use these buttons we can add a comma here it's not right here we can actually come down here and we're going to do game start game then right below that we can do game to on and in here we're going to do game over and we can do comma and we're going to do results arrow function we can open this up and we're just going to return and do nothing with that we are actually done with the hangman command so we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out all right so over in the discord server we can actually go ahead and test this out but before we do so i would like to say that if you'd like to get the tutorial bot within your server so you can test out all the commands we're working on and have done feel free to do that the link will be in the description we can go ahead and do slash hangman we can just go ahead and send it and as you can see here it's going to go ahead and make a hangman game so i can just guess as many letters here as i would like to guess and as you can see every time i guess it's either going to put one in here or it's going to put it in the letters guessed and give me a emoji as the hangman would so i can just keep guessing here and i actually put some of these in so we can just keep guessing and as you can see it's going to say the word was orange because i guessed too many letters it also did make a full man and that's how you know it's done so we can try this one more time so we'll send that we'll do a e i we can do maybe c and you can also press these buttons you can go ahead and guess o maybe we can do u i don't know i'm not really trying as you can see um, but you can press the buttons to go back and forth and as you can see here i failed obviously i wasn't really trying but it does work pretty well you can also use that stop button if you would like so that's how you can make a hangman command for your discord.js version 14 bot if this worked for you feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you need any help go ahead and join the server in the description below and you should just go ahead and join that anyways because this is a pretty good community server for discord coding and with that i'll see you guys in the next video